congratulations, Carmelo Anthony. He won player of the week. And um, a lot of people saying he didn't deserve it. There's a lot of people that's happy for him. I'm happy for him. He won player of the week. He he, he came back. You know, he, he battled back from adversity. You got to think. I mean, he was kind of like damn near blackballed from the league. A lot of people gave up on him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people uh, stopped believing in him. Um, I never stopped believing in his game because, I mean, he worked out more than anybody. I mean, he always didn't see Brickley giving out work. Everybody know he could get buckets whenever. So I never gave up on that. I kind of probably lost hope for him getting another shot in the league because I knew how they was doing him and I knew how they'll do anybody. You know what I mean? Look at how they doing Jamal Crawford. You know what I mean? His last game, I believe, that he played in, in the NBA, I think he had 51, if I'm not mistaken. It, it, I think so. But um, you could Google that. It, maybe I'm wrong, but that's crazy to not have a job, you know what I'm saying, right now. Um, and certain players do have jobs, and, you know, they less capable. But Carmelo won player of the week over, uh, let's say, let's say LeBron James, James Harden, Luka Doncic. It's like this, man. Of course James Harden probably would have got player of the week in any normal week, you know what I'm saying? But this is not a normal situation, and anything that people vote on is always about the moment. It's always about the better narrative. It's always, like, nobody surprised James Harden for 60. If James Harden really wanted to get player of the week, score 100, score 100. Stay in and do something monumental. Do something crazy. Do something that you ain't even do before. But you didn't do anything that you didn't do before. We saw James Harden have a 60-point triple-double before. We ain't see him do it in three quarters. I mean, have 60 and three quarters on 24 shots. That's something that's, like... It should not be, you know, understated or, or taken lightly. But James Harden is that great that we take him for granted. That's what starts happening. We in a, a generation where there's so many great players. So you take certain ones for granted that's just outstanding and just like over and over. Just like, oh, God, it gets redundant after a while. You know what I mean? In, in, in other eras, it was different. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have social media. You didn't have, everybody wasn't a critic. Everybody didn't have highlights on their feed all day and night. Like, you know what I mean, 24-7 feed of, of, of constantly James Harden step back. And up. Hey, a lot of people was tired of that shit. I'm not. I love it. Look, man, Carmelo Anthony got the best story right now so far in the NBA. If it's not Carmelo Anthony, then it's Luka being 20 years old and unbelievably unstoppable. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's LeBron being in his 17th year, that's up there. That's probably like the third or fourth story. But but a lot of the players owe Melo an apology too. That he thought probably had some pool or power within the organization that didn't try to make them calls and didn't didn't do anything. They just left that man out there. You know what I'm saying? Left him for dead. And you know, shout out to Damian Lillard and CJ because they've been pulling for him. And I think it's a great fit. Melo is a great fit for them, man, and um, he's going to continue to play well. He's going to get 30 soon, so don't be surprised. He's Carmelo Anthony, you know what I'm saying?